By the end of this lecture, you are going to learn how to set up Firebase using Node and NPM Node Package Manager. This is a great option when you want to test Firebase database queries quickly without using a browser or any user interface. The first step is to install the node and npm package manager to my computer. Go to the browser and type node.dev and you can see the node LTS button in the middle of the page. The current version is version 18.14.2. You may see a later version depending on when you are watching this lecture. Click to download and you can see I have the .pkg file downloaded in my downloads folder. Double click it to install which will open up the node.js installer click continue continue and agree then click install which may ask you for the admin password once i entered the password it started the installation process once it's done it shows the installation was completed successfully message then hit close then it asks me what to do with the installer because i have already installed node.js so i no longer need the installer so i'm going to move it to the trash folder the good news is that when you install node.js the npm node package manager is also installed along with it now i'm going to quickly test to make sure both node and npm have been installed properly to check that go to finder in my mac applications utilities terminal double click to open it then type node space hyphen v which gives the currently installed version of node.js which is exactly i saw in the node.js website in this case version 18.14.2 Two. Let's check which version of npm has been installed in my computer. So type npm space hyphen v and the npm version I have is 9.5.0 in my computer. Again you may see the higher version if you watch this lecture in the future. At this stage I have successfully installed node and npm in my computer. The second step is to create a project folder in my desktop. So I'm going to call it firebase-npm-javascript like so. Then go to Visual Studio Code Editor and choose File, Open Folder and select the folder that I have just created. The third step is to install Firebase NPM package to the project. To install it, I will have to use a terminal or command prompt application. Luckily, Visual Studio Code has an inbuilt terminal slash command prompt. To open up the terminal window inside Visual Studio Code, go to the menu bar at the top and choose terminal, which will open up the terminal window at the bottom. It also takes me straight to the project folder as you can see here. Now all I have to do is to type npm space i or I could use install space firebase and hit enter which will start installing firebase to the project. Once it's done you can see two files created called package.json and package-lock.json as well as a folder called node-modules. You most likely will not be touching anything inside the node-modules folder or the package-lock.json file. But one thing worth pointing out here is that I can check version of the Firebase that I have just installed inside package.json. The fourth step is to connect my Firebase project from the Firebase dashboard to this node project. To do that, I will need to get a Firebase SDK code snippet from the Firebase dashboard that I want to connect to. So go to the Firebase dashboard and project overview, then project settings and scroll down 
Under the SDK setup and configuration title, make sure npm is selected. I can see two separate code here. As you know, I have already installed Firebase using this command, so I can simply ignore that. Now all I have to do is to just copy this code snippet and come back to my project. Now I need to paste somewhere else, right? So I'm going to create a file called index.js inside my project. So right click inside project navigator in my Visual Studio Code editor, choose new file or I can simply click the new file button and type index.js and hit enter. Then I'm going to paste the Firebase SDK code inside the index.js file. The fifth step is to run the app from the terminal window. In order to see an output, I'm going to console log the app object inside the index.js file at the bottom and save it. Then inside the terminal, type node space index.js command to run the app. As you can see, when I did that, I have got an error which says warning to load an ES module set type module in the package.json. What that means is in order to use the import statement inside the index.js file like this one, I need to add a property called type with the value module inside package.json file. So go to the package.json file right inside the first curly braces and type in quotes colon module in quotes come on save the file and run the index.js file inside the terminal window by using node space index.js command you can see the firebase app object console logged in the terminal window nice firebase 9 is a modular based approach unlike its previous version so you only import or include the firebase products that you intend to use which makes the app not only lighter but also faster let's say i want to connect firebase cloud firestore database to my project the first step is to import cloud firestore inside my project in order to use it to do that head over to the browser and go to the firebase libraries page in there you can see all the firebase services available for web the one i'm interested in cloud firestore for web go to the initialize cloud firestore section and make sure you are inside the firebase version 9 tab then copy the import statement for firestore like so come back to the index.js file and paste it right below the initialize app import statement like so the second line of code i need is the cloud firestore database reference so copy the last line from the firebase website paste it inside index.js file right below the app object at the bottom then change app to db inside the console log let's run the app one more time inside the terminal node space index.js and you can see firebase cloud firestore database object console logged now we can easily create queries on that's awesome